Carolina, North Carolina State, the pack won by 14 in the Dean Dome a couple of weeks ago and some leftover pent up aggression. Kenny Inge, a boot to the gut on Antoine Jamison, got himself a tee for that. And Maktar Jai, CC Harrison, a bizarre male bonding ritual. Now off to the game. First half, Ed Cota, no look. Antoine. Thank you very much. Tar Heels up 22-19 at the break. Second half, CC the three, BB the three. CC Harrison, a team high 16, stayed up by one, but the Wolf Pack would run out of gas. Nobody does this better than the Tar Heels. Williams to Jamison, the alley-oop. Jamison, 21 of Carolina's first, 41. Then Brian Bursticker bursticks it. The starters having a good time. They got a little time on the pine. Doesn't happen much for North Carolina. 73-46 the final. Obina Akizi, one of the most improved big men in the country knocks down the jumper from the foul line he had 10 in the first half later Sarunas Yesikavichus high handoff to LeBron Profit 43-33 Maryland at the break Tech went six minutes in the first half without a bucket it really killed him and then Profit picking a pocket all the way to the cup and one 14 Tech turnovers on the day Maryland up by 11 after Profit's free throw he finished up with 19 and then Matt Harpering Alvin Jones Come on, let's, let's get along, guys. 83-65, the final. Maryland wins it. Jackets probably had their tournament stinger extracted. They the United Center, Iowa, and 18th-ranked Michigan. First half, Ricky Davis around the defense, up and under. That would tie the game early at four, and watch this again. Up and under. Later in the first half, Michigan gets the hot shooting from afar. Robbie Reed. And then Lewis Bullock with a pull-up three. Michigan, 8 of 12 from three-point land in the first half. Ample reason for Tom Davis to be concerned. More long-distance shooting. Reed again for three. 42-32 Wolverines at the half. Second half, tractor trailer. Ooh. Trailer, 10 points, 16 boards. Trailer's grandmama was there as Michigan wins it. 77-66, Lewis Bullock led the Wolver. 75-73, Gophers, 21 seconds to go. Try to inbound, Miles Tarver with the steal. Michigan State in deep stew. Take another look. Tarver gets his hand on the ball to break up the play. Michigan State with one last chance. They would inbound it. Jason Klein for three. No. And so Minnesota with the big upset over Michigan State, 76-73. Minnesota led by Eric Harris, a career-high 29 points. Between Cleveland. During the regular season, Hobbs hoping to spring the upset this time. First half, Brian Williams, way out. Stroking it. 5 of 7 behind the arc in the first half. He had 16, tied down two. Later in the first half, Ty committed 11 turnovers. Jeff Shepard to Hashimu Evans, the Manhattan transfer, playing some nice music. Seven for Evans. Kentucky up by Deuce at the break. Second half, Williams. And one. He had 28 on the day, a season high. Game all tied up at 57, but Kentucky way too much inside. Good look from Cameron Mills. Najee Muhammad. Oh! Well, up and under, Yam will be there. Hobbs not pleased. Cats up by three, and they would go on a 13-4 run. Turner, alley -oop. Nazi, 10 of his 13 in the second half, and Kentucky wins it by a count of 82-71. to Shepard had 17. Georgia and Ole Miss with their smoke. There's a delay. Used that thing for a halftime show. Went off a little early. Georgia coach Ron Jersey, meanwhile, and Rob Evans exchanging words. Perhaps they didn't like the halftime show. But I don't think they're talking nice to one another. Second half now. Ole Miss down by two. Jason Flanagan misses the leaner. Anthony Boone's there to put it back and one. He's a terrible free throw shooter. Around 40%, but he made it. The Rebs were up one. It's now a three-point game. Jermaine Jones trying to tie it. Rushed his three. Had some more time. The Rebels... Come up with the ball. And Evans and Jersa shake hands and make up. I started to say kiss and make up, but. State's Manny dies played in the game for the first time in three after his arrest on alcohol charges. First half, Paul Pierce, baseline. How do you do? Pierce finished with 24 points. Later in the first half, Rafe LaFriends. Oops. Kansas still led by four at the break. Second half dies, brings K-State back. Short jump hook in the lane. He had 11. Kansas State took the lead 40 to 37, but Kansas was simply too much. Pierce to Kenny Gregory. Kansas wins 68 to 61. Pierce led the... St. John's Big East semi. Nine seconds to go. Johnny's down two. Eaton Thomas, the rejection on Tyrone Grandy at eight blocks. Red Storm keeping possession. 3.9 seconds to go precisely. Ron Artest, he had 13. We're even at 58. Jason Hart, desperation heave. Can't get it to go. That's not your buzzer beater. Still tying after regulation, and as the rules dictate, we head to overtime. 20 seconds to go in the OT. St. John's down three. Artest 
drills the three. Fred for Schiller, feeling good. We're tied at 57. Mike Tirico takes it from there. It's in the hands of Bergen. The senior lost his footing. To Blackwell for the win. Good! Ryan Blackwell sends Syracuse to the championship game! The transfer from Illinois coming up huge. 13 points, 11 boards. Freshella and Sets thinks there should have been a walk on Todd Bergen. Doesn't get the call. And the Orangemen celebrate. Fran emoting. Kind of needs a hug there. The Q's pulling it out. You know, T, yet another great game in what's turned out to be a great tourney. Thrickers in a UConn. Jeff Billet, the hero of Thursday's game. Different story on Friday. Billet for three. He was one of eight from the field. Then Billet driving in. It's called for the charge. Billet bombing. He was held to three points on Friday. UConn, meanwhile, riding the shoulders of Big East Player of the Year, Richard Hamilton. The steal nearly runs over Jody Sylvester. Still gets the jam. He had 18, just 3 of 11 from the field. And Kevin Bannon assumes the position. The Huskies into the title game for the third time. At four. Eugene in the Temple of Doom before the game. Purdue down one first half. Andre Patterson. Gary McQuay goes through him. Purdue down two in a tight first half. Second half, over three minutes left. Patterson, 11 of 23 from the floor. He had 24, a 9-1 IU run. After an Allen Eldridge three put Purdue up one. Mike Robinson, 25 points, 10 boards. Then Luke Recker, truly, madly, deeply do. Ball player, tied at 71. 90 seconds left after three Purdue free throws. Put them up by three, A.J. Guyton. 3 of 10 from the floor, 2 of 6 from there. It's the 7th 25 win season in Purdue history. Grace Linton forces a shot. Barely hits anything. Offensive problems in this one. Sean Mason, no, 1 of 6 from there. Wisconsin had 10 points in the first half. Dick Bennett should have won that red jacket again. Second half, Badgers make it interesting. Incredibly, Mike Kelly didn't miss a shot for Wisconsin all night long. The Badgers actually take the lead. However, the Illini too strong. Derek G, nice follow, 17 points. The score of this game was 12 to 6. Friday at the house the Tark built. Second half, UNLV in front by four. Brian Keefe, Kevin Simmons. It actually happened much faster than that. Two of his game high 21. UNLV in front by six. Fresno State fighting back with some D. Avondre Jones with the block. Starts the break. Winfred Walton finishes the break. We're even at 54. Now tied at 62. Simmons kicking it out to Mark Nickel. He hits the three. UNLV in front by three. And Tark distressed as UNLV wins. It's 76 67. The Rebs have won at 9 of 11. They're just one win. The other Wax semi pitting the Horned Frogs against Los Lobos. TCU up by two at the half, and it's Lee Nail and two of his 15. Billy Tubbs crew up 11 as they went on a big run. New Mexico coming back, though. Clayton Shields, three of his 18. Then off the miss, Kenny Thomas, eight offensive boards for him, puts it back up and puts Los Lobos up one, capping a 19-9 New Mexico run. Then they salted away behind Thomas, throwing one down. He scored 22. New Mexico rallies for the seven-point win, snapping the Horned Frogs' 16-game winning streak. For finals, first half, Robert O'Kelly. Game tied early. O'Kelly again, 23 points in the game. O'Kelly once again, then surfing the net. www.fourpointplay.com. It's five threes in the first half. Wake leads by eight at the break. Second half, Clemson climb back. Buckner at 21. Moore McIntyre. The lob to Tony Christie. 19 points, six assists for McIntyre. Clemson by eight in year one AD after dunk. Missouri, Oklahoma, second half, Michael Johnson, Corey Brewer for the layup. Brewer finished with 20 points in the game. Oklahoma up by four with 90 seconds left. Off the inbound pass, Eduardo Nahara. Yes, indeed he do. Missouri falls to Oklahoma 58 to 53. Texas, Oklahoma State, 47 seconds left. Oklahoma State up 64, 62. Scott Gottlieb at the line for two, misses the first, second free throw, no good. Tom Pender's Longhorns look for the lead, same score, under 35 left. Chris Clack drives, Randy Perryman is clutch, and clutch is indeed everything in life. Longhorns by one, Oklahoma State, last chance. Chad Alexander, Brett Robish, his jumper, wild scramble, and it's over.
Texas upsets Oklahoma State. 65-64, they'll play Oklahoma in the semifinals. Kanska, first half. Tyrone Lou lobbed to Cookie Belcher. Burp. Danny Neese Cornhuskers up 37-25 of the half. More Nebraska, Belcher to Lou. He had 22, Nebraska wins. 65 to... Back to Hoopage, SEC tourney fun at Tennessee and Arkansas. Kareem Reed, the former St. Raymond's Raven, driving the baseline. Then it's Reed. The sportscasters were contractually obligated to call that. Going coast to coast, Arkansas, a SEC tourney record, 102 points. They win at 102.96. Florida, South Carolina, B.J. Mackey, Herbert Lee Davis, 33-27, Gamecocks. Then it's Bud Johnson working inside, 13 points, 10 boards for him. Gamecocks win it. 71 to 60. Alabama. Basically done. Conference USA in Cincinnati. Second half. Cincy a big. Little Michael Horton, six foot one with the slam. Later in the second half, UAB's Andrew Bass goes to the hoop. But look at Melvin Levitt with the incredible two-handed block. Can't believe he was called for goaltending. After the final buzz, look at this. UAB coach Murray Bartow goes to shake Cincy coach Bob Huggins' hand and. Bob with the lecture, much like Chuck Knoll, we lectured Jerry Glanville after Steeler Oiler games. Since he is in the Conference USA Finals, they were... Temple scoring off the core state center. Keep an eye on Alexander Cool in the middle. Uh, Alexander, hello. <laughs> Not paying much attention. Leonard Stewart gets the jam. 12-3 Temple run there up four. GW answering J.J. Braid. He had 17. Colonials hanging around. More GW now. It is Cool. Cool. Pumped. Oh, yeah. GW goes on to beat Temple. 78-64. So George Washington into the A-10 final. Playing for the right to face the Colonials in the final. And the fans fired up. Some problems with the ice underneath the court. It was melting a bit, and that caused problems for Josh King. Oops. Pivotal moment, second half, 70-52. Xavier James Posey slips, but doesn't go out of bounds. Gets it to Lenny Brown, who hits the three, capping an 8-0 Xavier run. Posey, 18 points, 14 boards. The Musketeers into the A-10 final for the first time since they joined the conference three years ago. They take it. Montana State, Weber State, Dan Sullivan the steal, Dan Sullivan the layup. Dan Sullivan, 10 points. End of the first half, Dante Rabb, three ball. Montana State wins at 69 to 64. Cal State Northridge and Northern Arizona. Logos, please. Casey Frank with the block. Michael McNair bringing it the other way and gets it back to Frank. Underneath. Get it to Frank. There he is. He finished with 14. More Northern Arizona. Billy Hicks working down low. 